Hi guys, Farmer Georgia here at Cannon Hall Farm. So I'm up in uh, the Mammal House. Now, the last time we did a video up here, we only had two residents, but now we've got lots more new arrivals. So let's head on through and I'll show you a few of who they are. Hello. Right then guys, so up first we have our new Persian Jades. Um, so we have four males in here. And, and as you can guess by the name, they do come from the Middle East. So they do like to live in desert areas. So they do like to live together as well. So that's why we can have a same sex group without them uh, scrapping too much. So they do get along. So this enclosure we've built entirely to suit their needs. So we've got to think about what this animal, what it lives like, so where it lives. So as I mentioned, it lives in the desert. So then we've gone with sand for their substrate as this is more natural for them. As they live together and we've got four of them, we have to think about different hides and where they can get away from each other if they want to. So they've got lots of different options to hide in here as well. Lots of space on the ground. So as you can see, it's not that tall. So these guys, they don't climb. They need more space across the floor. So they've got a nice long enclosure for them as well. So all those different things we've got to think about when we think about the species that we're housing. As you can see as well, these guys are really active. Um, so they are diurnal, they're awake during the day. They're not very shy, you can see they do come up to us to say hello. But not all of the animals in our house are like this. Some of them are a little bit more shy and more nocturnal as well. So they don't come out as much, but you do see them occasionally. So we'll go and have a look at those ones. Right guys, so in here we have our Brazilian cavies. So you might have noticed that they look very similar to our domestic guinea pigs that you can get um, at home. And this is because we bred our domestic guinea pigs from these. So these are the original guinea pigs. So obviously domestic guinea pigs come in all sorts of different colours now. But these guys, they are always uh, black and they're always the same size as well with that nice short fur. So these are the original guinea pig. They are quite shy. They are awake during the day the same way that the jerds are, but these are much more shy. They are new, they are still getting used to us. So we have named these guys and they are called Copa and Cabana to fit with their a Brazilian theme for where they come from. So up next, we'll go and see something that's a little bit more busy. We'll head over this way. Right then guys, so in here we have our uh, zebra mice, otherwise known as Barbary striped grass mice. So these guys can be found um, throughout Africa in lots of different types of habitats, but mainly uh, grassland and savannah is where you can find them. So they do like to hide in the grass, so that's why we've got them lots of nice hay at the back there. And these guys, they're always out and about, they are diurnal, they're always nice and busy. We've got one feeding just here. We've got a group of seven females in here. So these also like to live in groups. They like to live in little colonies together. If you look closely, everyone, they've got those nice stripes on them, hence the name zebra mice. Um, so that is for camouflage, so as I mentioned they do live in the grassland, so that stripy pattern it just helps to break up their outline and helps to give them a little bit more camouflage against predators. They are a small little mouse, obviously very vulnerable to lots of different types of animals who would like to eat them. They do look like little humbugs, they are very sweet, but it is for camouflage. So that was just some of our new arrivals guys. We do have a few more in here, but they are still quite shy and they are still settling in. So don't worry, we will do another video on those another day, so do keep uh, an eye on our social media for those. I hope you've enjoyed meeting our new animals. Um, do remember to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube. Thank you for watching, guys. Um, we will be open soon, hopefully. We haven't got a date for it yet. Um, so again, keep an eye on our social media for an opening date for our Mammal House. So thank you very much, guys. See you again soon.